Now the next thing is we are going to learn how to add some effects into the video clips. Okay. So to add an, a given effect on any video clip, you can just select that particular clip and you can come to FX over here. So you can just click and you can come down. You can see you can have different kind of effects. So spinning, you can just click to see a, a preview of it. You just you click. You spend some time. You can just click. You spend some time. You spend some time. You spend some time. You can see different kind of effects. You spend some time. Okay, so you can see. You spend some. You can see a preview of it, of any effect that you've added. You spend some. You can see different kind of effects. You spend some time. Now, if you select a given effect based on the preview that you have over here and you want to apply it to the entire clip, you can just say apply to all and it's going to apply this effect to the, the whole clip. Or if you want to just dig in and it's going to it's just going to apply it to this very section, you can extend out if you want and it's just going to add. So once you're done, you click on this. But at this point, I don't want to add any effect. But just to show you how to bring in different kind of effects, this is how to add different kind of effects into the video clip. All right, so the next Next thing I want us to learn is how to add effects and transitions. So to add transition between clips, for example, I may want to be moving from this clip all the way to this clip where I'm not talking, uh, where you are not seeing me, and then up to this point that I've started to talk. I want to create a connection between them. What I need to do is to make sure the clips are joined together, are close to together like this. And you can see this plot sign. You just click on this plot sign. For example, you can apply the dissolve effect. You can have dissolve one and you can have different kind of other ones like blur effect um, zoom one you can check out the rotate effect you can apply any of them and you can control the duration of that effect for example this one the duration you can reduce it from here to 0.5 seconds or 0.3 seconds or you can increase it as far as 4.9 seconds or 5 seconds and you're free to apply to the entire clips or you can apply to the particular junction that you've selected so you can see as you increase the transition period is actually taking longer period before it gets to the next clip but if you make it shorter quite shorter for example something like 0.4 seconds you can see it's a bit faster faster to get to the other one so it's very easy and then you have the mat effect you can check on the mats and you have different kind of presets as well as you hover over any of them you'll be able to see this is circle effect these are transitions as well but in circle form so you can select on line effects and you will see the effect just like so okay line effect so this is line transitions to the next one and you have the hexagon i kind of like this hexagon sometimes to just quickly move to the next one and you can temper with the duration as well make it smaller so you kind of move a bit faster so you can see it's a bit faster and then you have paint paint effect you can see paint effect just kind of flash around or you can we have the swirl effect you can just go ahead and try any of the effects that you have here we can have glitch effect also if you have if you want to have glitch effect so you can try on any of them and play around with the duration accordingly so it moves a bit faster and look professional but basically this is how to add transitions to your footage so you, you can come back to the base transition and just select for me for this clip two clips i want to add the dissolve one okay and i want to shorten the duration to like 0.3 seconds so it moves a bit faster so i select the tick here to apply the effect and you can see right now that if i select from here i play on this media you can see the transition is quite fast though it's a dissolve transition now the next transition i want to show you is when you are trying to put in a transition between the same clip okay so what i usually do is when i'm doing when i'm working on the same clip for example on this one and you know this is the same clip and maybe at this point i created a cut here I'm trying to, this is now two clips, okay? So I'm trying to kind of put a transition between them. What I usually do is I kind of zoom the other one out, okay? So I select the second one and increase the percentage or I kind of zoom it in. Okay, so I select the second clip and I can come all the way to this one, select it, and then I can come over here and zoom it out. You can select it and zoom it out. So it becomes a bit bigger. So when I'm moving from the first clip to the second clip, you can see it gets a bit bigger. One thing you should just pay attention to is when you are zooming out, you should try to centralize everything so the eye can be at the same point. So the transition will not be too visible to someone. Okay, so you can see the position of the eye. Right now, on this case, you have to be bring it down a little bit so you can see the transition. Let me play it one more time, but then it does zoom out a little bit. 
okay so let's see so from this from this effect to just zoom out a little bit and then it goes on now the transition to the next one also is going to be kind of perfect from the bigger uh, picture to the smaller one okay this is kind of fast so this is what i do when i'm dealing dealing with the same clip but when i'm dealing with different clips i add the transition from the positive sign over here and just go ahead and see what i can do okay so basically this is how to add transition you can go ahead and play it around with it and see what you can add and what you can remove and what kind of creativity you can bring into it but basically this is it that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one